In today's short video, folks, we're going to show you how to make up the dinette bed in the habitation area of a Roller Team T-Line 590 motorhome. So it's going to be a very short video for this one, folks, but it seems to be a popular question asked on the forum. So yet again, we are here to answer those questions. So <clears throat> in essence, making up the bed in the dinette area is quite simple. Now, there's a lot of people that don't like these tables and they convert them and I can understand why they take up a lot of space and they're a bit of a faff when making up the dinette bed because the little button that you put your foot on, which is on a little bolt, see if you can see the little bolt there, that's prone to bend, I found, so you have to be a little bit gentle but still have to use quite a lot of force to press the button down. So this is how we do it. I'm going to stand you up. So, move the table slightly nearer to me. I'm going to put my foot on the button, press it down. And then what I do is I get my two hands like that, get the elbows on the table and then give it one sharp shock, like so. As you can see, it's now moving. Now it's moving, I don't need the button pressed. So now we just need to position the table where it needs to be. And then it will lock. Now the trick now of course is, how do we make up the bed? Well what you need, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you now. It's a bit of a windy day today folks. So in the garage area, there should be a little table like so. So we're going to release the table. Oh. Just getting out that breeze. So, how do we make up this dinette bed? It's quite simple to be fair. We obviously need the cushions. We've been storing the cushions at home because I don't want the, any damp that might be building up in the van. These seem to really want to absorb any moisture these so we've kept them at home so how do we make the dinette bed well on this rear bench seat the seat belted seat you will find if you lift the cushion up there are two holes at the side of the base and those two holes correspond to these two lugs on the table so what we now do is we get the legs open and we place the table into position like so so of course what that has done now is it extended the width of the rear bench but what happens next is that this base cushion does not go back where it was it actually goes back over the top of the extra table that we've just put on now this is awkward holding the camera so i'm going to put you back up there again uh, there is a bit of a it's a bit of an art getting this to fit but it's doable so that sits on the table like so and then with the square cushion that we have here, this goes in the corner that has been left by moving the bench seat over. Like so. And then that just leaves what I refer to as the L-shape cushion because there's a bit of a shape on it. That neat fits neatly on the table. One dinette bed. Now we have been asked for measurements of the bed, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do that now in the same video. So here we go. So once the dinette bed area is made, and I'm going to give you it at its widest point, you have got approximately 
I shall go up to the rear bench cushion, the backrest. So as the plane flies overhead, you've got 1,200 millimeters in width and in length you have 1,850 millimeters and 1,850 is just over six feet. That's the dinette bed, folks. Now I'm going to put it all back again. So it's a good time to measure the mattress size on the elevating bed. The width is actually 1,290 mil in width, or 51 inches. And the length of the mattress is, yep, 1,930. Or 76 inches. I will put a. I'll put. I'll repeat the measurements now in the video. Just in case you missed that at all. So if any of you are wondering, folks, why the ladder is currently there, it's there because it's allowing some air to get underneath the mattress. We did show that in our winter prep video. So that's it. That's how you make up the dinette bed. And that's the sizes that you get when the beds are made up. Hope you found that little video informative, folks. As always, if you did, please remember to give it the thumbs up. And if not already, please look for a link at the end of the video to subscribe. See you on the next one.